welcome to jm tv gh and today we are here to do first video with sofo coffee chair haji in 2022 and today our question is very simple so many people or so many books and uh, other things are saying it every day then out that in the um, let me say the european side we don't count women among the, the people even in the bible they will tell you clearly that in the in, in the ancient time or in the beginning of everything they don't count women among the people so what uh, the time jesus christ feed the people five thousand people uh, they don't count women among them so because of that uh, so many things that some of the churches did they, they don't add women to it that they are part of them even sorry to say when you go to a muslim side they don't count women or they don't allow them to do something so as the program we are doing the the journey into every history and africa as a whole today i wanted to find out is that true that we don't count women among the people in that time even till today uh, some of us we, we we think that because of that we don't want to add our women to things that we are doing is it true that we don't count them or is someone that telling us a different story about what we have in the beginning so i will not waste much time please go to youtube subscribe to jmtvgh facebook as well comment like and share for me and god will bless you so i will not waste much time let me go to sofu kofiche haji street and ask him is it true that we don't count women among uh, the people we have in the beginning of the war or even to today people don't count them among us because of that's how we know it so that we can get more explanation to that Togwi? I go I go I go I go Today too we have come okay. and this is our first video in 2022 this year i give myself a title that not a plenty of doing video but the quality uh, what we can give it to our people the teaching how we can give it to them how they can know who they are that's what we are going to do this year but not to shooting plenty video so we are here today to find out a first thing in 2022 is it true that uh, we don't count women among us when you start the question first the greetings to all viewers thank you but when you start the question with we don't count women mm. who are the we you are referring to uh -huh. it's a oh. question to you <laughs> you and who are the we <laughs> that's what we came to learn you and who came to learn <laughs> What do okay. you call yourself? You will say you are a man. Yes. Can you be a man if you are not born by a woman? No. So how can't you admit that women are the resolution of the equation of life? Okay. Without women, there will be no life, there will be no man. I see. If anybody claims that women don't constitute part of uh, humanity, mm -hmm. then you will have to find out from that person, if he's a man, how did he come into this world? Okay. And I don't believe any woman with uh, any brain in the head will say that as for their women, they don't count in calculations. But, but that's what they told us even Who the time we, we are going to check the bible their bible say they don't cut women among them until jesus christ came before <laughs> that one too is a problem till today where was jesus was jesus not born by a woman yes was jesus father not born by a woman yes if you go back and back and back and back even their bible realize the importance of women mm. that's where why when their god when their god created adam mm. he recognized the relevance of womanhood yes uh, you're going to tell him mm? 
Yes, yes Connie. Uh, mm -hmm. He, when I did, this escape, he was supposed to have been the only begotten son of God. Okay. All right? Yeah. But how did he come? From a woman. A woman gave yeah. birth to him. Yes. And uh, we were told uh, he was given birth to in a manger. Mm -hmm. So that tells you that woman is prepared to accept Okay. Provided that condition can lead to more people coming on earth. Mm -hmm. It is only in the white society that they keep on saying that, oh, as for women, they don't play any role. Okay. But in normal society, women constitute the holders of the key to the door of life. Mm -hmm. If you don't want that door of life to be opened, then there will be no generation. I see. When you look at uh, the white man's God, mm -hmm. he created Adam, mm -hmm. then added Eve, mm -hmm. so that the creation formula can continue to run. Okay. And that is what has been running. Apart from those who pretend not to believe in the productivity of women, mm -hmm. in the continuous generation of life, mm -hmm. they will continue saying that, oh, we have uh, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. They don't want to acknowledge the woman. that uh, there, can be a, there cannot be a son if there is no mother. Yeah. So when you talk, uh, you say, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, you are dancing around an equation you, which you cannot solve. Okay, so that word, if you wanted to say it, let's say as a normal, how, how should we say that word? Which word? The God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It cannot be God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. There can only be God the Father, God the Mother, mm -hmm. and God uh, the Son. The son. Mm. You cannot define anything as Holy Spirit. If you are defining something as Holy Spirit, then you can come around and ask, was that the Holy Spirit a man or a woman? Okay. Then what of the Holy Ghost? Okay. Hmm? Mm -hmm. So God the Father, mm -hmm. God the Son, God the, God the Father, God the, the mother, mother, and God, God the, the son. son. Okay. Yeah, under normal circumstances, the mother must come first. Okay. Because there are situations where you can go to a shrine mm -hmm. and solicit the support of the deity mm -hmm. to get a child. Like in the book of Samuel that uh, Hannah was supposed not to be taking seed to give birth to her child. Yeah. And she went to the shrine. Mm -hmm. They say the temple of God. Fine. The temple but of it's God. it's a shrine. It's a shrine. Okay. They so she solicited the help. When the prophet Eli asked her, what, was she drunk? She said, no, I'm not drunk. Something is worrying me. Okay. And what is that which is worrying you? I don't have a child. Mm. So the prophet Eli said, Thy wish will be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. And she said, if my wish of having a child, particularly a male child, is fulfilled, that child will be devoted to the service of your shrine. Okay. It was not uh, the father of uh, the so-called Samuel who made that play. It was the woman, the woman who was looking for a child. Okay. And knows that the job of a woman is first. Or the female is to create life. Okay. To bring forth life. So like uh, we were discussing before the close of last year, mm -hmm. said that when Isis missed the presence of the husband, mm -hmm. Osiris, mm -hmm. she went round, round, round and found him. Okay. And brought him. And they came together. Though Osiris was supposed to have been dead, mm -hmm. 
she performed the mystical impregnation that she got pregnant for Osiris okay. and gave birth to the child called Horus. Okay. And that is the Immaculate Conception. Even that was attributed to the so-called Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. That he was born out of the because, Immaculate because Conception. Because he pregnant her without nobody sleeping no with her. Sleeping, no father sleeping, no man sleeping with her. Uh, okay. And she got pregnant. Okay. But a man cannot impregnate like you have uh, some foolish situation now, men sleeping with animals and all yeah. these things. Those are not the normal practice. Okay. Normal practice how the creative energy brought life into being mm -hmm. is for a man to have intimacy with a woman. Okay. You will never see a dog having intimacy with another Male, male dog. dog, yes. No, mm -hmm. it is male, female, mm. and you will have uh, it in electricity too. You have the positive, you have and the negative. negative. If you think you can go with all the positive, like we are having today, people are talking of homosexualism, lesbianism. Two females cannot be there. Mm. So the late Robert Mugabe. Mm -hmm. When all this debate was going on, gayism, homosexualism, he said, bring me two men and keep them in a room. If at the end of one year or two years, they are able to give birth to a child, then I will accept homosexualism. Mm -hmm. But if they can stay in the room for several years, they can't get me a child, then it is not the correct way of doing things. Okay, that means today we have to appreciate our women so much that because uh, without them, there is no life. Who asks you not to appreciate womanhood? Woman is the source of life. And you must appreciate what the Creator had done. Mm -hmm. Don't think that you know better. Like those Europeans are now urging us to go homosexual and some of their apprentices dangling around and say, yes, we must accept homosexualism. That is the height of madness. Wow. You must appreciate the source of your being. Mm -hmm. You can only come out of a woman. No man can give birth to a child. So where from that story that we they have been told us for so long that they don't count women among people in the Egyptian time how Who they Who said they, they don't, don't count women? That's what they read in the Bible. Now that is the Bible. Now you ask yourself, mm -hmm. those who were writing the Bible, where did they get their story from? Okay. I'm asking. They said they get it from the Holy Spirit. Which Holy Spirit? Is Holy Spirit a man, a woman, a dog, a goat, or what? That's the question mark. I'm asking you. You know that they said they got it from the Holy Spirit. Me, I don't know of any. Holy Spirit. Uh, but they say they have the inspiration. They say, you are in only the, in saying the, they say they say. Yeah. Who say? That's that's what the Bible say. Who wrote the Bible? It's a Moses and now if you, if and the you people. get around calling Moses, mm -hmm. when was Moses born? You go through the same Bible and you are being told that when God first created the light, created man, and mm -hmm. then later created woman. woman. Mm -hmm. But before the creation of the man they called Adam, mm -hmm. you had all the animals, the trees, everything, you had the male, female. Mm -hmm. Is it true that God forgot that uh, the male Adam he created needed a female? That's what the Bible told us. But is it true? <laughs> Can it be true? We, we, we don't know, as I'm sitting here. Uh, if you I don't, don't know, know yeah. then don't believe it. Mm. Because the truth is that the man and the woman the Bible itself was copied from the ancient Egyptian text. 
Okay. Where the creator of the universe created male, mm -hmm. female, mm -hmm. male, mm -hmm. female. There were four. Oh, I see. They wanted to cut out the female. Yeah. And they talked of Cain and Abel. Yes. If that were so, Cain was supposed to have killed Abel. Yes. So it left so only Cain. Uh, only Cain. Yeah. The two men, one killed the other. Yeah. Then, having killed uh, the brother, mm -hmm. where did Cain go to marry to get the children? As we are told uh, later on. Yes. If Cain went anywhere else to get a wife, mm -hmm. a woman mm -hmm. as a wife and they got children, mm -hmm. then it means that that beginning story of God having created only Adam. And Eve. And no, created only Adam yes. as the first person. And he forgot. Then remember that oh, all the animals were male, female. Mm -hmm. So he created the female mm -hmm. in addition and put them in the garden and told them not to eat of that sacred fruit. Yes. If they did that one, they will become wise. They will know better. Mm -hmm. So they shouldn't eat. Yeah. But after having eaten the fruit, then... Yeah, let's continue. After having eaten the fruit, then what happened? Mm -hmm. They gave birth to Cain and Abel. Okay. Now, having given birth to Cain and Abel, they Cain killed Abel, and Abel Cain killed Abel. They mm -hmm. did some sacrifice, and Cain killed Abel. Mm -hmm. Okay. After having killed Abel, mm -hmm. then Cain went and married. So where did from he those get people the woman to marry? Okay. So, so is that mean there's a generation or there's a different family then? No, but the Bible does not tell you that uh, there was uh, any different family. You are only told about Cain and Abel. Yes. Uh, you are told about uh, Adam and, and Eve. Eve. Yes. And they gave birth to two. Mm -hmm. So, where from the other generation you might be thinking about? Mm -hmm. That's the question. Yeah. You are, you are saying that uh, there should be... So, we, we will ask today, why from that exactly? Did they pick it from a book that they couldn't get the, the, the accurate story or how... How, how could they, they have copied uh, falsehood from a book? That which is not true is not written. Okay. That which is true is what is written. Okay. So when you go through all the museums of the Western world mm -hmm. and you are looking for any tangible story about that character called Jesus Christ, you will not find. Yeah. Because he never existed. Yes. If he never existed, then all that which has been co uh, copied or claimed for him to have done feeding of 5,000 and all, those things are not true. Mm. What did Jesus feed the people with? They said Jesus fed them with unleavened bread. Yes. Which is unleavened bread? That is what the Avis called abolo. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Yeah. When the uh, what is it? The Amor the dough. Mm -hmm must ferment before they make the bread. And when it is unfermented, then you are making something else. Mm. But the unleavened bread is the abolo we have. Yes. Now what type of bread do we have? We have the baked one, mm -hmm. the oven heated one, mm -hmm. but the abolo we have, it is kept in an oven. Mm -hmm because it is unfermented, it is kept in an oven and is used in making bread which you eat. Yes. So, that aspect of the story too, uh, there is a big question we have to ask. Mm. Now, when you look at all the stories 
And they said Moses was the one who led the Hebrews out of the land of, of Egypt. Egypt. Yes. Why? Because uh, the Pharaoh was supposed to be very wicked. Yes. And his wickedness he visited upon the chosen children. Mm. Then uh, when the chosen children of God were asked, God asked Moses to let his people go. Yes. Where did they go? They the were, land of Canaan. Canaan. Yes. Where was Canaan at that time? And nobody knew. They just taught us Canaan. So they worked for 40, 40 years to get to the land of Canaan. Oh, my map is gone. Else, I will show you. I think the calendar is here. So, so let me pick one. Then I can show you what you wanted to tell you. Right? We are saying that picture is not clear. Yeah, but at least uh, they can go and find it. But they put it on net. So I'm sure. Yes, you see. This is, this they, is the they tell map. you that uh, the Hebrews or the Israelites left Goshen. Now, if you try to locate Goshen, mm -hmm. there's no. I am not surprised that they decided to change the name. Okay. Even they removed those names there. Mm -hmm. But Goshen mm -hmm. is on the delta of the Nile. Okay. The data of the Nile near the banks of the Mediterranean. Okay. If Goshen is there, and they have drawn the route taken, there was no sea, Red Sea. Okay. Red Sea will bring you down this way, from this direction downwards, mm -hmm. then you have the Red Sea. Okay. By this one is the Gulf. This one is called the Gulf of Aqaba. Mm -hmm. What is Akaba? Akaba is an area word mm -hmm. meaning a tribal mark yeah. or a mark. Yeah, yeah. Now the one, the one that we yes. normally use for here. Yeah. You look all this way, you will not see the Jordan River they've been talking about this time. Mm -hmm. Why? Because there was no river there, and from here mm -hmm. to the Mediterranean Sea, mm -hmm. there was no river. Wow. So if Joseph was sold into slavery from the uh, Palestine area mm -hmm. to cam caravan, uh, camel caravan men, mm -hmm. and they rode from there and came to Egypt, mm -hmm. meanwhile this place is equally, is still part of Egypt. Okay. Yeah, so they came, and they came and settled here. Mm -hmm. Still they, in uh, Egypt. Egypt. They brought uh, Joseph to the pharaoh's place mm -hmm. in uh, the delta of the Nile. Mm -hmm. So when the people were living this way, they, if you look at the white map, yes. it takes you along the Sinai Peninsula. Mm -hmm. And they climbed this way mm -hmm. and went to so-called Sinai Mountain. Mm -hmm. So they are only walking on land. Okay. They never crossed any, any sea. sea or river. Or river. And if they wow. cross, why did you tell us that they crossed the rest? So there is nothing called river or sea that they that put it, any that, stick that on is, it and it will divide that any is two. A story. Then where where did they get all those story and tell us in the Bible? That, that's the thing you will have to understand. Mm -hmm. That the Bible, as it is, mm -hmm. we are we know. Okay. Like Herodotus did say, mm -hmm. that the people who lived in that area mm -hmm. possess the powers of divination to interpret the will of, of God. the Creator. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, if they possess the powers of divination to interpret that will, mm -hmm. they wrote certain things down. And in fact, if you get a copy of this document that uh, you okay. read here, mm -hmm. you will get to know that most of the stories... So you mean here? Yes. Okay. Now, the, the heading is, why was a vow misrepresented as the Hebrew exodus from Kemet or okay. Egypt. Egypt? Now, oh, I see. you will see that in this case, you will see that the artist mm -hmm. presented the first 
person as a black man. Mm -hmm. The third as a black man. Mm -hmm. You have the Indo-European mm -hmm. and you have the Semites. Mm -hmm. So, and unfortunately I will not include that, but here the first pharaoh, you will see him as a black man. Yeah. If the first pharaoh was a black man, why? You say that there was an exodus, and the exodus of the people by their own map mm -hmm. went eastwards. Okay. If they went eastwards, today's population of those eastern countries is not a black dominated population. Yes. It's an Arab and Sem Semitic population. Mm -hmm. So if the blacks were in uh, Kemet, where are they? Where have they gone to? Mm. They have gone somewhere. Mm -hmm. And they, they even celebrate Exodus, which they call the Hogbachotu. Mm -hmm. So they would have gone on a different uh, line as opposed to the Hebrew Exodus. Mm -hmm. If they went uh, differently, then they came into the heartland of Africa. Mm -hmm. And when they come into the heartland of Africa, that's why you have black domination in the heartland of Africa, you don't have whites. Oh, okay. If you don't have whites, where did the whites go? We know it as a fact that the enslavement of the black race mm -hmm. was done by the white people. They, up till today, they still claim that the wealth of the black race is not that for the black race, but for them. You hear Bill Gates saying that they will have to exterminate the black population. Mm -hmm. Why? Because that which we have is not that which they have. Okay. So the creation of uh, the Hebrew emergence, that was created by the Greeks. Mm -hmm. It was only when the Greeks invaded our land. Okay. When you arrive in Onu, which we now call Cairo, Okay. If you arrive there and you go into Giza, mm -hmm. the Sphinx or the Dulagba you will see there mm -hmm. depicts a black man. Yes. If a black man is there and today the blacks are not there, where have they gone to? Mm. What happened to them? They okay. were driven away from the place. Okay. And when they were driven away from the place, those driving them away the Assyrians, mm -hmm. the Caucasians, mm -hmm. the Romans, mm -hmm. the Greeks, mm -hmm. they all claim to be white. Yeah. And they are on the eastern side. Yeah. So if you drive the blacks away from the place, where have they gone? If you are coming from the east and you are driving the people away, they surely will go west. Yes. And they went west, and some went south, and uh, we populated. Our so continent. that's that's the reason why we have West Africa, Northern yes, Africa. So when you have the whites populating the place, now you go to Cairo and they are speaking Arabic language to you. Mm. But the people who were there, according to the whites themselves who studied at the feet of the wise men of uh, the Southern Valley, mm. said the people spoke a tonal language. language. Which people are those who spoke the tonal language? Mm. They can be whites. Okay. The French have decided to put a sand grab, a sand tegu, a sand circumflex on most of their writings mm -hmm. to give it a tonal touch. Mm. But they are not. Okay. If they are not, the people who are speaking the tonal language will be found somewhere. Mm. And uh, they are found on the west coast of Africa. Mm -hmm. And the, their location used to be known as the slave coast of West Africa. Okay. And uh, they are still there. They still speak the tonal language. And they are still there. And they still speak a tonal language. We are here with Osofo Kofiya Haji. The program called The Journey into Ever History in Africa as a whole. And today we are discussing why they don't count women among us. As we know in the Bible that uh, till Jesus came before they recognized uh, uh, our woman and even till today 
some people don't add our women to the, the their culture thing or they are worshiping and those stuff because in the book that they give to us to heaven or to go to Allah uh, is something that they tell us they don't count women among them so women don't supposed to do anything in their worship so we are asking today is that true that our women are not among us until Jesus came or there's something we must know and today I have in my hand uh, let me tell you this before we will continue the program this is the calendar so many of you are asking me uh, you want a original calendar or something like that this is original calendar but when you have it this one is still the one that we are using in the old the reason when you get the calendar and you call Sofoko Fitcher Haji he will explain to you the reason why he give us the 12th calendar that we are using as a Roman calendar but when you come to down here this is the 13th month calendar we have this is the th is 13 among the every the 30 is 13 calendar that we have because all the this thing is 28 right uh, every, month. every month have 28 days but today uh, i came here before he explained to me the reason why he do it the roman one but the normal one is 13 so when you get it you will call sofoko feature haji and he will explain to you the reason why the calendar is 13 but today we have only 12 and also he has so many things that he's always seen different different channel he has it on the calendar when you have it you read it and understand is this true that they cross a red sea before going to the land of kenna or there's no red sea at all and all those things you get it in the calendar so when you cross off of it you have your calendar and you know where you are coming from and you know what you do to get your name so we have something down here uh, if you can capture it for me you see uh, you who have lost yeah so read it for me you who have lost your cultural roots have lost your nice spiritual nice strength nice. okay you who have lost your cultural roots have lost your spiritual strength so that's how it is if you lost your cultural, cultural root, root you don't know yourself you, you don't, don't know yourself your, then you have lost spiritual strength like you are calling yourself Jim. <laughs> so so the, the the power inside my root is no more there until you call me atabolo or mauko it's a something the mauko crowd there's question mark I'm, I'm i'm asking today or people are asking what's the meaning of the mauko it's a something that you need to understand or you need to know who you are before you can get that spiritual strength so so for kufiche haji yes i wanted to get this clear point because before we started the video, you were talking about the ank we are using. Yeah. But today, we, we let me say for two to three years now that people start waking up before uh, you can see those ank more in town. Yeah. But in some years back, you only see cross. Why do we lose the ank rather than using the cross? Yes, we lost. We are supposed to have lost the ank which is the key of life. Mm -hmm. The cross is the key of death. How? When you are being buried, what do they put there? Cross. A cross. When you are being born, mm -hmm. a man-woman combination gives life. So the ankh mm -hmm. is the key of life. But the cross is the key of death. So mm -hmm. you see them, mm -hmm. you see that the Christian holds the cross as a knife mm -hmm. and they, they always sing on what Christian soldiers yes. marching on to war. Yeah, what yeah. were they going to do in war? Killing. With the cross of Jesus mm. going on before, they have to kill. I see. They have been authorized to kill. And the Muslims also have authorization to kill in the name of Allah, the most merciful. 
holding the tasba. Who can order for the killing? And then the Christian God says that, oh, thou must not kill. But then they tell you, on what Christian soldiers, they are marching to war to kill the enemies. Mm. So you must understand yourself that you have gotten yourself into a tight corner. And they are telling you that, oh, they are doing you good. Okay, uh, I want to get this one too. Which one do you want to get? I hear. You hear? And know little about it. Okay. That because of our women are very powerful in the ancient time. Yeah. That's the reason why when they wanted to wrote the Bible, they put it inside that they don't recount the women among us. How true about this? No, you see that if you are basing everything on that fake storybook, mm -hmm. then you are missing the point. The Bible was supposed to have been written in which language? Hmm? Say Hebrew. Hebrew. Mm -hmm. But then you ask yourself, who were the Hebrews at the beginning of time? The tonal language speaking people? No, they were not the Hebrews. Really? The Hebrews had their own language. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. The Hebrews, where did they come from? There are these Caucasians who came from the Caucasus Mountains now claiming after the Greeks had invaded the land of the ancients in the Kemet mm -hmm. and changed everything. Then they created this group of people known as the Hebrews. Hmm? Okay. There is a bed which never makes any serious noise. Mm -hmm. When that bird is flying, you can hardly hear. It wouldn't make any noise. Mm -hmm. And that bird is a very wonderful bird. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, you will see the head on the crown of the pharaoh, the head of that bird mm -hmm. on the crown of the pharaoh. Yes. Which bed is it? Unless you told us. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know. That is the vulture. I see. The vulture can be far up on the mountain. Why did the ancients position the head of the vulture on the crown of the pharaoh alongside that of the serpent or the snake. Mm -hmm. They've put the head of the vulture because the vulture is the best environmental bed. Mm -hmm. The vulture will not allow any carcass to remain here and decay to create an unpleasant scent to the people inhabiting the place. Okay. The vulture can be at even uh, for the benefit of uh, those who are not around, mm -hmm. the vulture can be, say, in Aburi, mm -hmm. or even further up. Yeah. And let anything die at Jamestown. Mm. Let a dog die, let a goat die, anything, and the carcass will start smelling. The vulture has such extra sensitive smell faculty okay. that it can pick the scent from wherever it is, mm -hmm. fly down to the place when it has identified the location of that carcass, it will make a very shrill sound, which will be picked by other vultures in the vicinity. Mm. Wherever they are, they will pick that shrill sound and come, help this vulture devour the carcass take all the fluid out of that carcass, the bone, and leave it dry. And it wouldn't smell to anybody. Mm. So, the vulture was known, according to the ancients, mm -hmm. as Akaga. Yes. And how do the guns call it? Apanga. Okay. Mm? Mm -hmm. So the Akaga will come and clean up your environment. 
Today uh, you but, but, but I think we ever so we call it the same. Yeah. Akaga. Mm -hmm. Yes, the girls call it Akbanga. Mm -hmm. That's one thing. Mm -hmm. Akbanga. Mm -hmm. The Ivis call it Akaga. Yes. There's no n in it. Okay. Akbanga. Mm -hmm. And Akaga. Mm -hmm. But why are the names seemingly similar? Is they are similar because the Ave speaking people as we call them today mm -hmm. and the Gani people mm -hmm. are one and the same. Mm. The Gani people are and which the people? Gans, you call them uh, Gans. When they are installing the the high chief or the priest of the Ga land, mm -hmm. mm, mm -hmm. the Ga Manche, yes. where do they go? They go to Aneho. Yeah. And who are the people in Aneho? The Eves. The Eves. So, they are one and the same people. Okay. Mm? So that explains why they are cultural practices virtually oh, can't be the same. same. Yes. Because the Eves and the dance, they have something very common. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. they, what do they do? Culturally, when you are giving birth to as a male in an every environment or in a guy environment, they insist that you must be circumcised. Mm -hmm. And uh, said that valley too, you must be circumcised. Yes. If you are not circumcised, you can't enter into any of the temple mystery schools. Mm -hmm. If you don't enter there, and I, it is up to today, mm -hmm. if you are not circumcised, Please forget it. You can't hold any worthy position. Mm. And in those days in the Southern Valley, the temples are the schools mm. where they are taught. Mm. As it is today, when you go to Klepo, you go to any of these shrines, mm -hmm. these are the schools where you are taught how to live a responsible life. Yes. It's not this. Uh, schools uh, the white man created to be misinforming and miseducating us. No. Our schools are in the temples, are in the shrines. Our school is in the temple and in the shrine. We are here with Sofo Kofiche Haji, the program called The Journey into Every History and Africa as a whole. We will enter and enter and bring you all the secrets and all the history that they have kept away from you for you not knowing who you are or for you to think that you are nobody so today we are here and our time is almost gone so i'll go to Sofo Kofiche Haji for him to give us uh, his last word so that we will continue in the next episode. So, Toby, yeah, uh, we want you to give us your last word. And I know that you are almost done with the book that people are requested every day and the calendar as well, so that you can tell us something about the calendar too and the book. Uh, when should we get uh, wait to get the book? Yeah. Okay. The book will tell you your story which has not been told before. Okay. You are being told that uh, there was uh, somebody called uh, two brothers, mm -hmm. the Icarus brothers of Greece. Mm -hmm. They were supposed to have waxed feathers of uh, birds to their arms, mm -hmm. climbed their hill in Greece, mm -hmm. and jumped. And that was the event which launched the aviation aid in the world. Mm -hmm. Over 100 few years back. Yeah. Then also the Americans also came, the United States of America, mm -hmm. they also came and claimed that the Wright brothers were those who rather loaned their world into the aviation age mm -hmm. because they also worked feathers to their arms. Yeah. Then Leonardo da Vinci, an Italian or a Roman, mm -hmm. was supposed to have been the first person to have made a flying engine mm -hmm. about, about uh, 200 years ago. Okay. But when you read on this calendar, you will see that 
there is a woman uh, kneeling on one leg, then the feathers are waxed to the arms. Mm -hmm. And then that is called Ma'at symbolism. Okay. Ma'at means the, there's 42 laws. You must not do evil. Mm -hmm. You must not take what does not belong to you. Mm -hmm. You must not kill. You must not convert your neighbor's property mm. or wife or anything which does not belong to you. Okay. That's the symbol of Ma'at. Uphold the truth at every time. Mm. Then uh, the Europeans picked ten of those laws mm -hmm. and said, oh, ten then uh, some, uh, Moses climbed some hill and went and met some God on top of the hill who told him you are coming into a sacred place, you have to remove your shoes. Mm. And in our temples, you don't wear anything on your feet yes. because you must be at one with nature. Yes. Now, when they came out with those stories, what have they achieved? They have achieved lying, the truth, which our people were upholding, mm -hmm. they have turned upside down. Mm. So the mad symbolism was telling you that your people were those who learned the world into the aviation mm. age. And you will see the wooden glider that they made and they flew in that wooden glider and looked at the river mm -hmm. the Greeks chose to call the Nile. Mm -hmm. It was the divine snake. You look at the meandering of the river mm -hmm. and you see that it's moving like a snake. Mm -hmm. So they named the Seda. Mm. And they came and told us it's the Nile. And we all accepted it. Mm -hmm. So they teach us to know the Nile but they don't teach us the truth of the Southern River. Mm. You go to the Southern River, you have the eastern flank mm -hmm. and you have the western flank. Mm -hmm. Now, on the eastern side, beyond the eastern mountain chain of the flank, you have a burial ground. Mm -hmm. Now, on the western flank, mm -hmm. behind the western chain of mountains, you have the burial grounds. Mm -hmm. One is for the kings, mm -hmm. one is for the queens. Okay. And what did they tell you in Psalm 23? The shadow they tell you, of the even valley. though I walk through the valley mm -hmm. of the shadow of death, I shall not, I fear, will evil. not fear any evil. Mm -hmm. There is death on the east, there is death on the west, and in between, it's you the have shadow the of valley the of the shadow of death. Ah. But if you go on to Facebook or any of the mediums these days, mm -hmm. you will see that the people who are now living on the land of our ancestors' birth, mm -hmm. they are digging and digging into the what? The Aswan Dam mm -hmm. and bringing up statues of oh. our ancestors made. And, and black. they say they are archaeologists, they are doing this, they are doing that. And you look at most of the people doing this recovery. They are white. Mm. But the things they are bringing out it's don't black. resemble whites. Mm -hmm. And the Giza Sphinx is telling you the people who were there. Mm -hmm. The 1200 year old wall painting found in the tomb of Pharaoh Ramses III showed that the people of the Southern Valley were blacks. Mm -hmm. And you have a uh, the king of Aswan, mm. Azana, telling you that the name of the river the Greeks decided to call the Nile was Seda. Mm -hmm. Then you go onto the Abyssinian highlands and you have the lake, the lake Atana. Mm -hmm. Eta is a lake. Mm -hmm. And you have His Imperial Majesty, mm -hmm. Emperor Ahaela Selassie mm -hmm. I. Who was the king of kings, the conquering land of Judah, the ancient of days? I think our next episode will be the full story of the Hela Selassie issue. Because, Hela Selassie. Yes, because uh, you, you always mention you know, his name. You have so, heard. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, our yeah. next episode, I want, I want to give our viewers the full story of only that man so Hela that he, he can know, uh, you, you know 
who he is or what he has done in this earth before today they are telling us a different story about our own thing so always i'm saying it if they mention some name to you get close to your elders ask them what's the meaning of this name in our own language and i'm sure for him telling you the name maybe it might be you that they have turned your name outside down so here is jmtvgh don't forget to subscribe to share like and comment and forgive me if you hear some noise uh, they are doing some work in Suffolk Future Hajis in house and our people too have started their noises so forgive me for all those noise and don't forget to call Suffolk Future Haji for that's the calendar issue you have explained so many things inside the calendar when you get it you yourself you read it and understand very well when you call me to anywhere you are we will send it to you and you will get it so that everything will be fine we need to know ourselves that's the only way for us these days so my dop is uh, mauto my editor is asalin gh this is your uh, man jm my producer is my dear nana adra see you in the next episode bye bye think that when somebody brings some paper with some drawings on it and calls it money that is all then they believe one who nyan kupo bia som no na mi so mi nana no ma mre amehu no Metsumuno, says Adam Dune, who got now to me call heaven, no man could be a any problem. But the only person who said it's a time for Africa, say, Yeni baby, Yeni Bedaho, they have said church is a business maker with no fear. So soon, yes, you know, your friend of heaven, you know, one more. Name Pimpin means a planet, see, yeah, 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 no, no, a year, a nipper, a dainty mint and a hole. Yeah, mama, I'm home. I'm at home.